So next is uh, Rena, our current uh, uh, director, and she's going to tell us about what her vision is. Uh, she's been with us uh, since 2020, uh, in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, different times, that's for sure, and she'll give us some insight into what she thinks is coming. Thank you, Pam, for all your efforts. And I own the privilege of not having an aha moment to claim, <laughs> right? So I could hold on to that. Well, I want to thank you, uh, Hal. I'll, I'll see him in a few weeks, uh, Martha and Larry, Larry and Martha, for really sharing your experiences. And, and it is such a privilege for me, really, uh, NIGCR and me, actually, to continue building on the strong foundations that you provided uh, the Institute. So thank you very much uh, for how, you know, his sharing of passions for the field of craniofacial biology medicine and genetics really fueled my career at a very early stage, so I'm very grateful to him. Martha, for paving the way for m women leaders at NIDCR, I thank you, and for sharing your experiences with me along the way. And I, I have to make these personal acknowledgements, they mean to me. Larry, your brilliance, your humility, your compassion have inspired me throughout. You are simply indispensable in my life, I will say that. Uh, <laughs> to all of us. <laughs> And just so you know about this humble being who, had, who flew down from a very, very committed schedule as director, acting director, or acting on behalf of the director, or some Carrying out the uh, responsibilities. Carrying out the responsibilities <laughs> to be here is, is very special to us. And, and just to, to say what speaks volumes is that on this Wednesday evening, Larry was acknowledged by a very distinctive honor from Research America. That's a premier organization, it's nonprofit that actually advocates for research that promotes health. And I'll tell you what it was about. It was the John Edward Porter Legacy Award. For those of you that know John Porter, you'd know what that means. For his outstanding commitment to sustaining the nation's world-class leadership in medical and health research. Congratulations, Larry. Um, I think, I think you elevate the oral health sciences every time and all the time. So thank you for that. And in fact, if I had to pick on one of those glowing times in our 75 year history and look forward to the next century, I would dream that we would create another Larry Tayback for the profession. So you, in fact, signify the 75th. And that's a very personal tribute for me. 